So I learned how to trace cucumbers like this many moons ago uh, when I was starting in market gardening Modelaine and I at La Grelinette we were lucky enough really lucky we were kind of the first small micro farm to be part of a program here in Quebec where really seasoned greenhouse growers came to our farm and then with them over two years they showed us a lot of the <clears throat> a lot of the proper greenhouse techniques that really professional growers greenhouse growers use and those that's where we learn how to graft that's how we learn how to graft tomato plants we also learn how to you know trace prune uh, tomatoes indeterminate tomato plants really growing them to be super like 12 feet long lower and lean them and cucumbers was definitely one area where we needed to learn because we were having a lot of problems with the cucumber beetle with crops that just weren't giving enough fruits for it long enough and when we learned from from that group of experts our yields went fivefold and that was really encouraging for us because our strategy at La Grelinette has always been to get more yield out of the same acreage because we didn't have more land so learning greenhouse techniques was a big part of us becoming much better growers and getting more yields and increasing our bottom line about three folds so now greenhouse produce tomatoes cucumbers eggplants bell peppers that we also do in a very greenhouse type way it equates to about one third of our revenue on the farm and you know we learn how to get three to five times more yield per square foot with these techniques and since we learned these techniques uh, we practiced them for many years uh, some of them are kind of talked about in my book the market gardener but really uh, at FQT farm the other training farm that's where I really developed the skill and that's what I teach in the master class and so a lot of growers have learned from us over the years and I think that even home gardeners can learn a lot about these small simple techniques it's all about maximizing yield but there's always a part where there's a skill set that you need to acquire and that's what learning and teaching is and that's what I'm really excited about now It was truly amazing when we started to learn these greenhouse techniques what we realized was that there was somewhat of a barrier between professional greenhouse growers and growing and you know the small scale organic farming world you know most of our friends were kind of doing crops in low tunnels field tunnels some had greenhouses but di really didn't know much about these these growing techniques and man it was it just felt like we broke that barrier we really learned how to do it professionally and then and then the ripple effect here in Quebec was really big because we went to our traditional you know yearly kind of farm meeting and farm gatherings and then we started to show pictures of what we were doing and we shared you know the the impact of these techniques on our farm with other growers and soon enough <coughs> uh the same kind of uh you know greenhouse mentors went to other farms and they also learned and honestly if you come to quebec now and you visit some farms csa farms few acre farms you know market gardens man you'll see that there's a level of professionalism that i've honestly and frankly haven't seen anywhere else and I think a big part of that is because we had these older greenhouse growers that were mentoring and, and teaching us. And so, man, I've seen it firsthand, the consequences and the impact of that. And man, I have to say, like, if you can increase your yields and your bottom line couplefold, learning is a big investment. <laughs>